Hi folks, I'm back and I'm cutting up some strawberries. As you can see, I'm just gently chop, not chopping, I guess slicing them. I'm not gonna do too much with them. I'm gonna throw them in this bowl here I've got. Oops, one's trying to escape. And I'm gonna add some white sugar. So earlier I said, gee, I don't know why. Get out of there. I don't know why um, my uh, sauce was turning brown and the hub said, because you use brown sugar. So note to self and all of you out there, if you're cooking, you do not want to use brown sugar if you don't want your stuff to turn brown. You need to use white sugar. So for these strawberries, I'm going to use white sugar to juice them up and get them much sweeter. I'm sure they're really, really sweet. I'd rinse them in the sink and um, cutting off the tops there. I don't know if you can see that, my bowl is in the way. And then I am just slicing them like this and I'm just gonna put them with the blueberries. I thought it'd be really pretty. I'm gonna rinse my blueberries here in a minute. And uh, I gotta check on my sauce over there too. But uh, these beautiful, I think I'll just throw them in the bowl with the strawberries and I'll mix them all together with some wonderful white sugar and let them juice up. And then I'll put them in the bottom of my little jar. And then for my um, creamy mixture, I opened up my Mars Capone. And it's pretty um, tough right now, so I'm just letting it sit out, get a little room temperature so I can work with it. And it's pretty, pretty um, cheesy. So I definitely want to add some sweetness to it as well. So I think that vanilla yogurt will really complement it. Oh, and I am checking on my um, sauce. I'm still letting it simmer on low. It's on like three or four. It's actually on four. So I'm gonna turn it down to two. And I'm just gonna let it gently simmer. I'm having like a weird hair day today. I'm doing some braids, I'm doing some funky stuff. I don't wanna touch my hair too much though because then I gotta wash my hands. You know how I am folks. Keep those hands nice and clean back. So anyway, here's my beautiful bowl of blueberries and strawberries. And I'm gonna add some white sugar and just stir it up and let them kind of congeal, come together so they're nice and juicy. I didn't need this bowl, I got it out for, I don't even know why. Um, I didn't add any more Pinot Noir because the hubs came in and said, hey, what are you doing in there? <laughs> I said, it's gonna be great. And he said, you know what I think we should do before we put it in the jars? And I said, we should taste it. And he said, that's right. So I think he's a little worried. But he shouldn't be. He should know that crazy Joey Joel always comes out with a fantastic something or other. Even though I don't know what I'm doing half the time. And that's why this show is called Joey's Crazy Cooking Show. Because it's crazy. And as you can see, you know, some people who will remain nameless, have joked about how, oh, you just drink on your show and get all sloppy and silly. And as you can see, I've had absolutely nothing to drink today and I'm just as silly as ever. Because I love being silly. Because it's fun and it keeps me young. Even though I look old. That's why I braided my hair. <laughs> so I could look, uh, look young even though I'm pushing 50 here, folks. Anyway, here's my beautiful fruit bowl. I'm gonna add that sugar and stir it up and let it sit for a little bit and then I'll come back and we'll do the um, mascarpone and the yogurt. I'll show you how I mix that. I don't really know what I'm gonna do with it. And then we'll put it all together in the jars with the shortbread and the cookies. Be back.